We're talking with UNA head cross country coach Jeremy Province in this Lion Vision update presented by CBNS Bank. The UNA cross country teams are set to open the season this weekend, running up in Nashville at the Belmont Invitational. And Coach Province, before we get to the race this weekend, first off, how does it feel to finally be in a race week after the fall season was postponed? Yeah, it's, it's great to actually have a schedule and have something to look forward to in regards to going and competing against uh, someone other than ourself. You know, it gets, after a while, it just kind of gets old running against, uh, against your teammates each day in practice. So I know that they're excited to have, uh, have a schedule uh, on, online and, and, and looking forward to, to getting started this weekend. Let's talk about what these two teams look like. Let's start on the men's side. Oh, what's the mix of returnees and newcomers look like for this season? Yeah, we, we do have a good balance. I mean, we, we have the, uh, you know, five uh, sophomores on our roster that are be coming back. And so they had their freshman year in 2019, which they gained a lot of experience. And then um, we also added three new faces. Uh, we have a, two true freshmen and then a sophomore transfer. And um, I think all of them have potential to add, um, add to our, our returning group that we have. So I'm excited about it. I think, uh, I think it'll be you know, a good mix for us. We have some experience, some young guys that I think will be able to run with those returners and compete for a spot. So I'm excited about it on the men's side for sure. And then um, on the women's side, you know, we've got, we've got Kara coming back. She's our senior, our, um, she's going to be our, our true, our lone true senior. Um, Sharon's also a senior, but she'll be back for her fifth year. Um, but, but Kara, man, she's been leading the way for, for the last, or at least been battling for that top spot for us the last few years, has really competed well uh, at a conference and regional level. Um, and she has been training very well, excited to see what she does. And then behind her, um, on the women's side, we're pretty young. We've got several new faces that have, uh, have added uh, some depth to our roster, have been competing very well with, the, with some of the returners that will be coming back. So I'm excited to see how, the, how kind of that group unfolds as we get into the season. The two teams will run this week and up in Nashville at the Belmont opener. Then you'll take a week off, I believe, return to Nashville for the Lipscomb Invitational. Just take us through the races that you'll run leading up to the ASUN Conference Tournament in March. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually a, a good. I like the schedule. You know, we, we race a weekend, have a weekend off, and then race and a weekend off, and so it, it flows very well. Um, this Belmont meet that we have coming up is very competitive. I think there's, including ourselves, 12 teams that have signed up for it. Mainly OVC schools. We're going to see a conference foe in Lipscomb, um, so it'll be a good test early on to kind of see where we're at. And, um, and then, you know, right into uh, Lipscomb will be the, the second meet that we'll actually go compete in. So we'll be on the same course against a lot of the same teams, actually. Um, so we'll kind of get to gauge and see what progress we've made from the first weekend to the uh, or the first race of the year to the second race. Um, February 19th, 20th, that weekend, we're, we're going to be racing. That'll be our last tune-up before our conference meet. Not exactly sure, you know, where we're going to go. We have a couple of options available to us. I think, uh, like I told the team, it just kind of depends on how the first few meets go, uh, go for us, and we'll see where we're at. And then, obviously, the A-Sun Championship in early March. Coach Province, best of luck. Thank you for the time. All right, thank you.